walk ski headed to Da Chui. So I picked up this new tri the same exact one as Joey. Moving up in this world. All right, y'all, we have arrived at Dan Shui. It is a beautiful day. This is no longer Taipei, right? We're in Taipei, son. We're in Taipei. Yo, we in the slum, man. We in the ghetto. Thank you, Marisa. We're, we're, we're about to pull up on some fools, man. First things first, we actually already had coffee, so we're not going to have coffee now. But we're going to have lunch. It's going to be the first meal of the day slash brunch. Blazing hot out right now. Probably like 33, 34 degrees. We're headed to the old street. That right there is apparently a real dude. Pretty wild, but a few seconds ago he wasn't moving, and I thought that was actually a statue. Yeah, right, baby. Taiwan That's is actually. A lie. That's a lie. What? That's a lie. What? It is not the Taiwan number one fried chicken. No, I'm trying to tell the people that Taiwan is actually famous for the fried chicken. Oh, okay. They also have a bunch of claw machines here. I'm gonna try it once. Here goes nothing. Da da da. <laughs> Because you didn't sing the theme song. All right, there's not much to see here. That's it. I'm not spending any more money. You should have just been like, da 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 da. Damn, bro. Maybe for some of you guys visiting this place, one thing you might want to take note of is that it's already 12 o'clock, but a lot of the restaurants still aren't open. So if you plan on coming and you want to eat, it might be a good idea to actually come a little bit later. That feels so good. Oh, yeah. Oh. This is the menu, okay. of which I can't read. So Joey this is pick intensa for Roselli. This is sweet, not spicy. This is tan sui fish ball soup, pretty famous. Tan sui ake, you gotta get ake, one ake for sure. Uh, this is wontong, wontong. This is this is like fish ball, like chie zai mian, like a noodle, like small noodle. This is the the, the, the minced pork yeah. rice. This is the the meat f meat f noodle, bro. Chao gan mian. Yeah, meat f noodle. Yeah. Oh, ake. What is that? Is that rice? This is ake. 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 Famous in Dan Sui because you know why it's called ake. Because dan sui a gay, dan sui a gay. It rhymes. That's why it's called a gay. Okay, but what is it actually like? What's inside of this thing? Get it. Ah, oh, the classic braised pork and rice. This is the classic. Never go wrong. I guess I'll show my chat because they're a bunch of uncultured swine, right, chat? You open the middle. Oh, it's noodles. That is, what do you think? It's good, it's a little bit spicy. Yeah, because like sweet and spicy, sweet and sweet and sweet and spicy sauce. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is good, man. 
。哦，谢谢。All right, YouTube. By now, y'all know it's that time of the day, that midday crash, midday slump. We're about to grab coffee. We had coffee this morning, but it just didn't do it, you know. So we made it from home, which is great. But that is the next stop. We're gonna grab coffee now. Let's do it. So this right here is something that I watch and see on YouTube all the time. It's a place that you visit and they clean the inside of your ears. I know. Dude, I'm scared. What if it's gross as well? I think that's great. If it is gross as, you know, then that means they're actually taking all of it out. So the steps is check the ears first. Yeah. And then to see what kind of service. All right, I guess that's the next mission. We're gonna go and get the inside of our ears cleaned. I think it's definitely worth the experience because I've seen this on YouTube and it's actually been something I've always wanted to try. So I'm actually really looking forward to it, but uh, coffee first. This is Taiwanese craftsmanship. So right now they're making the mark before they cut, and it's perfect precision. You know what this reminds me of? Like it wiggles so naturally. Like I spice ass, you know, like it just looks like I spice butt. No need for captions. That's where we're going. It's amazing here. Thank you. Second cup of coffee for the day. Oh. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Kind of being around you inspires me to like, want to keep pushing my Bro, you need to stop sucking my face, man. No, but I hate you. Okay, that's good. Okay, fair enough. But I know you put in the work too, you know. Is there cleaning time? I'm scared. We're gonna get our ears cleaned! Dude! Ew! I got another shiny! Alright, so she just checked my ear and she said that my eardrum was pretty good. So, that's a good sign. I'm still looking forward to having it cleaned though. Ew! Dude, my left one is like barely any. Can you show that to me? Yeah, yeah, look. Nothing. Because my right ear is actually smaller than my left. So every time when I, when I use the Q-tip on my right, it's way more sensitive than my left. I'm scared. Oily and hot. Right now. So 
So far, so good. She gave me a 1 out of 10 in terms of cleanliness, 1 being the most clean, and 10 being the most dirty. So I guess we're doing pretty well. It doesn't hurt at all. It's kind of relaxing. I don't really feel anything at all, actually. Because that's kind of just to clean it now that all the earwax has been taken out. This is why people like this is why people like ASMR. This is so weird, but it feels good, you know? You know what it kind of feels like? It feels like a wet willy. It does. I think I'm having a an ear massage now. Oh now my ears wet. I'm actually really scared to touch my right ear because it always hurts. It's too small. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright y'all, Joey and I just experienced our first ever ear cleaning treatment. It was great, it felt really relaxing, it didn't hurt at all. And now my ears feel squeaky clean. It almost felt a little bit sensitive when she was kind of cleaning it. But it didn't hurt, I'm actually really glad I got to experience it. Because it was something that I used to watch on YouTube all the time. And I always wanted to try it. So. Yeah, that was an amazing experience and I would recommend it. It was 600 NT. I think that's around $25 Canadian or something like that. Definitely worth the experience. Give it a try if you get the chance to come to Taiwan. So apparently when you're in Taiwan, you have to have a Taiwanese sausage. So that's exactly what we're going to do right now. Ta-da! This right here is the Taiwanese sausage. Kind of looks like a regular sausage, huh? And mine or this one? Which one to look better? They're uh, heating it up on that grill. I'm pretty excited. Okay, thank you. All right, so this is the very hot sausage. Dude, that's hot. The stick is hot too, that's why. Smells really good. Dude, 10 out of 10. No way. So good. The night market seems to be the next location. Last time we were there, it was Ghost Month. It is still Ghost Month. The whole entire street was blocked off for the ceremony for the celebration. Hopefully this time we are there, the night market is actually set up. So I thought this might be interesting for you guys. This is how you actually purchase a train ticket in Taiwan. So you figure out where you are. It's usually highlighted in yellow. And then you figure where you want to go. It's here and it's 40. It's 40. Put the coin in. And then you get this. And this is what you use to get through the gates. Don't forget to get your change. Scan. Open. Daily reminder. 
reminder for anybody who's watching this right now. Hydrate. Remember to drink your water. What is it exactly that we're going to have right now? Medicinal rib cage soup. What is the animal of the rib cage? Oh, it's just pork. Oh, it's pork. Hi, oh, so it's like a pork Oh, no, 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 like beef. Like, this has been around for 53 years. Every pot has to be boiled for like 10 hours. That's a make eat good right? Yeah, so as you guys can see, like, they're constantly boiling, boiling this every day, every day, and putting that medicine, putting the meat, and the medicine, and the meat, and the boil, boil, boil. Yeah, this is that good stuff, man. Oh, this right here is the medicinal rib soup. I'm too full of having it for myself. Turn around and smile at me. Very like sexually. The medicinal soup. Oh, dude, what up, man? Dude, I'm gonna order soup. I thought it was gonna be more herbal, like the smell of the shop, but Bro. it's actually not as strong, you know. Oh my god, how cool! Oh my, oh my god. This right here, one of my favorite candies of all time. Next on the list, BB guns, right? Nah, this is a real gun. This is how we get American basketball right here. Dude, it's actually so dangerous that he's just standing in the middle casually. You know, grew up in the slums of Taipei. I'm about to put my skills to the test. I'm about to put my foot on my back. He don't miss. He don't miss. He don't miss. He don't miss. Whoa. Dude, it's easy. Ah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> what are you trying to do? <laughs> Thank you. I don't get it. I don't get it. That right there is a famous fried chicken spot in Taiwan. The difference between this barbecue chicken spot and the other fried chicken spots is that they fry it first in the soil and then they actually barbecue it afterwards. This is probably going to be the last thing that I eat today. First bite. How is it? Best fried chicken ever? Like straight up? Mm -hmm. Nah, no cap. On, on, on God for no cap. You know what's really good about this too? What? They don't kill it with the batter. This is actually chicken, like whole chicken. Still very tender inside and yeah. it's juicy. Flavoring? Yo, dead, yo, dead ass? Dead ass though? On God for pro? Dead ass? Mmm. 